Time now for Hawk Zone. Russell Wilson delivered his 23rd fourth quarter comeback against the Minnesota Vikings. Seattle remains unbeaten as they head into the bye this week. Terry Holloman talks to Michael Bumpus from 710 ESPN. Well, the Seahawks are 5-0 for the first time in their franchise history, heading into a bye week. And I tell you what, Michael, it couldn't have come at a better time because I don't think my heart could take much more of this, man. These are the heart attack Hawks, man. They're bringing it down to the wire every single week. How do you feel about these guys? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm with you when it comes to the heart attack part. It seems like whenever you feel like you can get comfortable, the defense gives up a play or the offense gets stalled out on three and out or something like that. But Overall, man, you can't complain with 5-0. and yeah, I know some teams that are 1-4. and four. Yeah, I know some teams who aren't in the position that this team is in. So it might not be the most attractive style of winning, but at the end of the day, it's a W. You hit the nail on the head, man. 5-0 and is much better than 4-1 and one or 1-4, one and four, and that's where the Seahawks are right now. But through the first four games of the season, these guys were able to get off to a fast start, a, a quick lead in the first half, and then settle down in the second half. Uh, against the Vikings, they weren't able to do that. What happened? Man, Terry, the, the Vikings came out and they controlled the clock. I believe their first drive was about 11 plays. So they kept the offense off the field and just grinded this defense down. Then the Hawks weren't able to answer the call. So what do the Minnesota Vikings do again? They go down for another 17-play drive and just ruins the rhythm of this offense. Now, the Hawks only touched the ball one time in the first quarter. And when you're able to keep Russell Wilson in that explosive offense off the field, you're going to give yourself a chance. So the Hawks are used to making big plays early. When you don't come out and score and you're going down seven, you have a team who loves to run the football, who takes their time methodically down the field. Um, it's going to be harder for you to get a rhythm and to get those explosive plays. You know, one of their best players, Dalvin Cook, happened to go down with an injury in the game. How much do you think that affected the outcome? So I saw him go down. You never want to see a man go down, right? We're, we're ex-players. You never want to see that. But reality is your strategy changes a little bit. So I thought they're going to do okay. But that backup Madison came in and balled out as well. So uh, I think uh, morale-wise, it probably hurt the Vikings for a little bit and got the Hawks going. But once Madison came out and started doing his thing, it was like Dalvin Cook had never left. How good is Russell Wilson playing right now? We saw the game against the Vikings. It was his 23rd fourth quarter comeback in his career and his 30th winning drive. What's making him play so good? Man, T, he just seems like he's in control of everything he's doing. And we talk about this offense stalling out that first half. Russell Wilson still completed his first 15 passes and he doesn't force the ball down the field often. Now he made a mistake later in the game with that interception, but for the most part, if Russell's holding on to the ball, I guarantee you folks, there is nothing there and he's not going to force the rock. So one, his decision-making, and now he's completing 72% of his passes, um, that's tops in the league. So good decision-making, completing passes, and now you're, you're spreading the wealth in a DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, Greg Olson. So it, Russell Wilson deserves a lot of the credit, but let's not forget there is talent around him and this offensive line is performing better than we've seen in the past few years. I think heading into the bye week though, Michael, we have to take a time. This is a break in the season for the Hawks, a break for the fans. We have to break this team down. We have to look at the good. We have to look at the bad. And I don't want to say the ugly. We'll say the things that need some cosmetic touching up. So first and foremost, what is good about this Seahawks team? You want to score 30 points? They're capable of throwing, uh, scoring 30 points. Uh, you got an MVP candidate in Russell Wilson. You have a rising star in DK Metcalf. Now, defensively, they turn the ball over. When you can get the ball into Russell Wilson's hands, good things are going to happen. So offensively, they got some things going for them. Defensively, it's all about the turnovers. Okay, so that's a good. The bad was, I, I, I heard a little bit of bad in there. Is that what yeah. the bad is, the defense? Uh, the bad, the bad will be, can we just get after the quarterback? And they're not getting a lot of sacks, but they're getting pressures, and they're getting knockdowns, and they're doing that without Jamal Adams. When Jamal was there, it seemed like he was sniffing around the quarterback every chance that he got. So for him not being there, um, I'll take this play. But it's really just, just getting sacks. But if they don't do that, they're doing some other things to help out. Okay, so what are the things they need to cosmetically touch up? These are the things we have to address. Have to address. Um, offensively, I would like to address third down. <laughs> they were 0 for 7 on third downs. If you told me before this game the Hawks are going to be 0 for 7 on third downs, I'd tell you they lost the game. It's a wrap. But somehow they figure out ways to do that. And they haven't been particularly great on third downs on offense and on defense. So 
both of them can kind of come together when it comes to that third down. As much as we want the defense to be playing better, I, I take away this. We are still 5-0 in Seattle, playing great football, heading into a bye week, and we can all use this time off to relax a little bit. Michael, thank you for joining us here in the Hawk Zone. We'd like to get you back in here later on in the season, all right? All right, team, man. Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you both. Yeah, Seahawks fans, we need that bye week, too, after the blood pressure from last Sunday.